we're going to the worst reviewed fish and chip shop in London. This could be bad. So it's Good Friday. What do you eat in Good Friday? Fish. So we looked on TripAdvisor and thought, well, where do we go for fish? Well, there's 30 fish shops in London. And number 30, the worst one in London, that's the one we're going to. Number 29, well, it's owned by the same people. So here we are on Wellington Road in London, and this is Walker's Fish and Chips. Now it's in the Soho area, and it's rated the lowest fish and chip shop in London. Number 30 out of 30. We didn't make that up. We read it on the Now, we have a limited menu today because we're very busy and it's Good Friday. So let's have a look around the place. It, uh, yeah. It's a cute little place. Yeah, Maybe poop over there. Uh, I counted the chairs. It seems to sit about 21 people. Now, there were five people in here when we were here. Now, that included three staff members. So, well, you can do the math. That's two of us. So, oh, there's the uh, urban assault vehicle sitting out front in Wellington Road. And there's a new cake place across the street. Maybe we'll have to try that out afterwards. So, we made our order. We're uh, sitting here waiting for it. It's not very nice outside. It's a little rainy. Oh, let's have a little Diet Pepsi while we're waiting. That's pretty good. All right, well, let's wait for our food and see what happens. Okay, so we had a slight mishap with the ketchup bottle. I gave it a shake to make sure it was mixed up and the, uh, the lid isn't quite on right. But they replaced that, everything was good. So here's the food. I had the one piece halibut and fries with the coleslaw. We'll just spread it out so you can see it there a little bit better. And Lucinda had clam strips and more about them later. Crispy. I would say that this is crispy. A little bit of a burger sauce in there. It's kind of a high color. It's kind of yellow. Pretty good. Try this one out. Clam strips. She says it's a generous portion. That's a Tomato garlic sauce, they call it. That was. It's a nice zippy sauce. I like the clams. The clams are nice and uh, crunchy. Very fresh. Very fresh kind. Nice and crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Excellent. How about the coleslaw? She says she's had better coleslaw. Now look at this fish. You know, there were reviews that said it was a very small portion of halibut. I don't think it's ample. I think it's generous. I don't think it's a bad size at all. Before you start taking it. Eve is going to try one of my clam strips for the first time. They're gross. They're disgusting. <laughs> Say those clams are a good portion. Oh. I ate half of her French fries, and maybe more than half of her French fries. And she still didn't finish the clams, and she liked them, so I'd say it was a pretty good portion. All right, let's check out the bill. Thirty-seven fifty-two. 
that took a buffer fish and chips and that clam thing. So that was Walker's restaurant. What does TripAdvisor have to say? Well, TripAdvisor gives them two and a half stars. They have 34 reviews and the restaurant number is 719 of 919 restaurants. So I wanted to go right to the TripAdvisor website and maybe read a little bit of what people said about this place. Maybe there's some title lines on the reviews. Basic fish and chip place. Disappointing to say the least. I will never go back. If I could rate a zero, I would. Run away from customers. Stay away. Do not waste your money. Bad delivery service. Terrible customer service. Very disappointing. They go on and on. You can read them yourself on TripAdvisor. Now, what does the Middlesex County Health Unit have to say? This is something new we're doing. So now they did pass their latest inspection, which was December 6, 2018. Uh, what does this have to say? Failed to protect food from contamination. Failed to ensure clean chlorine solution for the dishwasher. Failed to keep sanitary facility. This goes on and on, right down to failed to have a someone with a food handling training, someone that had their certificate. Uh, in the end, product was seized and destroyed. That's not very good. A couple of days after that, on December 17, CBC News came out with an article about them. Uh, there was a lot of allegations of the owner of this place not paying his staff, uh, not paying them on time, shortchanging them on their paycheck. Uh, you can read that story at cbc.ca for yourself. What do we think? We thought the place was average. We didn't think it was really great. We didn't think it was terrible. But after reading all this, I would probably go a few blocks up the street to Irene's Fish and Chips and maybe just pass this plate by. That's just me. You decide for yourself. That's it for this episode. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'm Dave. And this is Dave Eats London.